Net Veteran Guardians and New Light Players. This is Delta 115 bringing you guys a quick Destiny 2 video. So I hope you guys are enjoying the Dawning event as this is our second week and soon approaching the third and final week of the Dawning, which the event will end on January 2nd, 2024. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing or wrapping up the seasonal challenges and Gilded Triumphs for the Star Baker title. So without further ado, let's get into it. So there are 16 seasonal challenges for the Dawning in total. I've already completed two additional due to uh, complications, which for this one I had to get the glaive to showcase the weapon. Uh, for this one, this was picked up by accident. But I will explain all 16 of them. So, the first one we have is Dawn of the Dawning. This can be done immediately. All you have to do is complete the Dawning introduction quest, bake a cookie, and give a gift to Savala. By completing those two quests, you get this one done 100%. The next one we got is Ice Cold Combat, where you have to defeat 100 enemies using snowballs. And snowballs are pretty easy to get. All you have to do is kill some enemies and it drops it. Um, you can either do it with your own weapons or you can do it with the dawning weapons. So once you pick up snowballs and kill 100 enemies with the snowballs, you get this one done. And the reward is the new seasonal glaive, Albedo Wing. Um, the next one we have is Amateur Baker, but we also have other triumphs that are the same thing which is Adept Baker and Ex Expert Baker and all three of them have the same objective where is bake each of the cookies in the dawning oven. So there are I think 20, yep, there are 20 cookies which equals 20 different vendors. Just bake 20 different cookies and all three of them are done. And for the rewards for those three is that Amateur Baker gives you an uh, what's it called? An enhancement core. Because this is an enhancement prism. So it gives us an enhancement core along with some dawning spirit and an event ticket. And for X for adept, same thing, except we get a gift in return in the process. Like so. And some spirit and ticket. And expert is the same thing with the, the Dawning Spirit and Ticket, but it gives us an exotic ship called Hyera Hodos. Don't know if I spelled that right. That looks like a pretty cool ship. Uh, this one, Bake Stravaganza, means bake cookies in the Dawning Oven. All you need to do is bake 50 cookies, which I highly recommend baking cookies with the additional bounties. For those who don't know, Eva Lavande has these uh, extra bounties which requires you to bake a specific cookie and the reason I recommend that because it's part of the Bright Dust Farm. For those who don't know about the Bright Dust Farm, uh, there's a method where if we buy extra bounties for 3000 Glimmer, it gives us like 10 uh, Bright Dust. And so we could hold up to five bounties at a time, meaning we could hold up to 50 Bright Dust. So by pairing that up with baking 50 cookies, you get probably around 500 Bright Dust. So by completing baking 50 cookies, we get an Enhanced Prism, Dawning Spirit, and Ticket. The next one we got Shopping Spree where we purchase all 12 Dawning upgrades from EVA with Dawning Spirit. Now, for those who don't know what the upgrades are, if you talk to EVA Levante, there's these certain specific objects at the bottom, that's where all the upgrades are. So, upgrades for the snowballs, upgrades for certain perks or additional things that would help you progress with your rewards. Like, you know, double perks for your dawning weapons, etc. So, if you see those upgrades, 
take them because they count towards this triumph. And once you purchase all 12, you get a cool Dawning Shader called Dawning Panarch, along with Dawning Spirit and Ticket. And now, the next five, you gotta listen for the next five. So, the next five, we got Deep Freeze, Yarn Maker, Thunder Snow, Snow Melt, and they call it Snow. And all five of these Triumphs are the same thing, except a little difference from each of the five. Where you had to defeat Combatants or Guardians with a specific, like, you know, weapons and abilities. So for Deep Freeze, it's Stasis weapons or abilities. Yarn Maker is for Strand. Thunder Snow is for Arc. Snow Melt is for Solar. And they call it Snow for Void. And if you want to know what, how many kills in total for each of the five, it's 800 kills in total. I checked it from Destiny Item Manager and it told me all five of them, you need 800 kills with this element. So 800 stasis kills, 800 strand kills, 800 arc, 800 solar, 800 void. And if you want to find a better place to farm these kills, I think the best bet, if I go to destinations, is going to be the moon. You go to moon, you go to Sorrow's Harbor, where this event alters a sorrow. It's the best spot to farm kills. And why I recommend this spot? Because I don't know if New Light players have access to other content, such as the uh, Last Wish raid from the Dreaming City, or the Grass of Avarice dungeon in the Cosmodrome. Because they're part of the DLC and New Light players, I don't think they have a chance to have access to those. Which means money, cost, and all that stuff. So the best and only option I can find for New Light players who do not have DLC or returning guardians who have no clue about stuff. My best uh, farming kill spot is Soros Harbor out on the moon. That's the best recommended kill farm I can think of so far. Right, uh, sorry, I need to go back here. So, by completing those five 800 kills per element, uh, you get the following weapons. So for Deep Freeze, you get Stay Frosty Pulse Rifle, Zephyr Sword, Enhancement Core, and Ticket. For Yarn Maker, we get a Cold Front SMG with 25,000 Glimmer and Ticket. For Thunder Snow, we get the brand new Seasonal Glaive again, which is Albedo Wing, along with an upgrade module, 5,000 Glimmer, and Event Ticket. Snow Melt, we get the Avalanche Light Machine Gun with upgrade module, 5,000 Glimmer, and Event Ticket. And last but not least, they call it Snow, where we get the uh, Glacial Clasm Fusion Rifle with Upgrade Module, 5000 Glimmer, and Event Ticket. And keep in mind, these seasonal weapons have a new icon display, so they're pretty new. Now for the last three. So we got Vanguard Eternity where we complete Vanguard Ops or Dares of Eternity activities, I would say do around a total of 20. And by completing 20 Vanguard or Dares of Eternity, which you can mix it up, you don't have to do like 20 Vanguards or 20 Eternity, you can mix them up a bit. So once you complete uh, this by doing the two activities, you get a raid banner with a gift in return, five dawning spirit, and a ticket. Oh, it gives you three raid banners. Okay, that's not bad. But they could have gave us a better reward than that. The next one, we got competitive spirit, where we complete crucible or gamut matches. It doesn't matter if you win or lose 
a match, as long as you complete the match, that's all that matters. I would say do a total of 10. I guess that's what it was. That's what it is for me, but I don't know if it does. If not, do another 10 and see how it works. But by completing Crucible or Gambit matches, you get two enhancement cores, a gift in return, five Dawning Spirit, and an event ticket. And last but not least, our final one before we pick up this one, Snowstruck. Spawn snowballs by defeating combatants with weapons and abilities in valid activities. Now, when valid activities, it's like, um, I would say Vanguard Strikes is your best option. That's why I've been playing Vanguard a lot. Because you get enemies, they you kill them, they drop it. And, you know, you can spawn snowballs. This is the same thing for Dares of Eternity. Uh, just keep playing a couple of matches of them, kill some enemies, and that's pretty much it. I guess it's like, I don't know, 50 maybe? But, this one's pretty straightforward and it's not uh, hard to say. But, by completing this triumph, you get an Enhancement Prism, 5 Dawning Spirit, and... An event ticket and now for this one because we collected all 15 seasonal challenges our reward for this is an ascendant shard and ascended alloy and there you go your event card has been done now that leaves us with the gilded triumphs so we got four of them in total we got frozen doom uh, reason for a season, joy spirit, and cheerful destruction. So, Frozen Doom is defeat combatants with snowballs. So about 100 snowballs, or pretty much more. But that's my only best bet, I guess, for it. But once you completed this, it's pretty straightforward. Now. Reason for the season is deliver 100 cookies to vendors. So this will go very well if you're baking 100 cookies. You can also do that with the Bright Dust Farm. You know, pick up those additional bounties, bake cookies specific to those bounties, and then, you know, etc, etc. And if you keep stockpiling up to 100, you can deliver them to the vendors. Pretty easy, nothing hard to do. Now, Joy Spirit, where we spend Dawning Spirit. Now, for this one, Dawning Spirit is used to buy upgrades, but we get up to 380 in total once you buy all the Dawning upgrades. So you're wondering what's going to happen to that 120 um, Dawning Spirit. Well, if you go to the Focus Options from Evil Avante, where you can exchange those gift and returns for donning engrams the donning engrams pretty much costs like i guess 10 for the engram and 25 for a specific focus weapon by doing that it gives you enough um donning spirit to spend on so again this is not hard it's pretty straightforward and last but not least cheerful destruction and I'm going to tell you guys, this one is by far the hardest to do on a day. It might take you probably two days, give or take how fast you're good. So in this one, you have to defeat combatants with dawning weapons. And if you want to know how many you have to kill, you have to kill 2,000 enemies. Again, 2,000 enemies with dawning weapons. That's how it takes. And the best option, as said earlier, is go to the moon, go to Altars of Sorrow, and get some kills from there, using the dawning weapons. That's all I can say. And by doing that, your Star Baker title is uh, Gilded to Two. Alright, before I end this video, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you guys a run-through of Eva's vendor because 
as I have explained it earlier in the video, I have a feeling you guys are pretty confused and lost of what I'm talking about in Eva's vendor. So, um, one of the challenges tells you to purchase all 12 uh, upgrades is these ones here, as I mentioned, which are these upgrades, which cost Dawning Spirit, as you can see here, like 35 for these ones and 20 for the Snowball upgrades. And that tells you up to pretty much 380 Dawning Spirit. So another question that you guys might wonder about the 500 Dawning Spirit spent is here. So if you go to Dawning Focusing Options over here, this is where you can spend more of your Dawning Spirit here. So you see 10 Dawning Spirits is spent on an engram along with a gift return and 25 Dawning Spirit spent along with the gift in return for any specific Dawning weapon that you like. So that way, if you want to spend more of that Dawning Spirit to get that 500 Dawning Charm done, this is where you go. And for the Bright Dust Farm, uh, as I mentioned, when you're like baking 50 cookies or delivering 100 cookies, pair this up with these additional bounties. Because, as I said, by purchasing these bounties up to 5, which I'll show you just for example. Right. So I get, let's just say I'm going to bake 50 cookies. So if you have enough glimmer and stuff, you can buy 5 of these. Go to your quests, read each of them. So we got Eva's cookies, Finch's cookies. Um, okay, so that's Tess's, Commander Savala, and Elsie. And if we go to our holiday oven here, when you're baking cookies, I'm just giving you an example because this is part of a bright dust farm. And this is pretty good because you gotta do this before this event ends. And this is by far highly recommended for everybody if they want to purchase stuff from the Eververse store. So, so bake your five cookies. So I said that one. Uh, yeah, this one. You see, by the time you bake five of those cookies, all these bounties are done. And then, by claiming these five, you get 50 uh, bright dust. So, if you keep on... Oh, here we go. So, if you keep on purchasing these bounties, bake specific cookies from those additional bounties, up to 50, you get 500 bright dust. And let's not forget, that you could get 1,000 Bright Dust if you do the deliver, you know, bake 100 cookies. If you pair this up, you get 1,000 Bright Dust. And then you could deliver these cookies to your vendors to get the gift in returns. So, that way you can get more loot. So I hope this helps you guys of what I'm talking about from Eva's vendor. For purchasing upgrades, spending, you know additional dawning spirit here or getting you know a bright dust farm by purchasing these bounties baking specific cookies and that's it and that's the end of the video ladies and gentlemen now there's one thing i should let you guys know on december 26th of december uh which is going to be the new weekly reset for week five of the seasonal story i won't be uploading on that day and the reason why is I have to attend a family gathering, which means I had to spend, you know, spend my entire day with my family for Christmas. And you know, you know what that means, you know, family comes first than anything else. So don't worry about my uh, video, it will be uploaded later in that week. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't uploaded on Tuesday, now you know. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the seasonal um event you know farms and bright dust baking cookies and all that stuff and 
of course, looking good in your own Guardian trip with seasonal colors. And you can use some additional shaders to make yourself look good and with additional colors. For example, uh, the Raid shader from Vow Disciple, where I did for the cloak, looks really nice. It gives me like a Santa Claus kind of coat with some white details, but, you know, enjoying your time in the dawning, as always. But, uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel for the latest Destiny 2 and other gaming content. And also, if you want to get notified and for extra content, you can check out my socials, which the links will be down in the description box below. That is all, my fellow Guardians. This is Delta115 signing up, and happy dawning.